What's good everybody? It's Con Man coming with my first Madden video. Honestly, probably my first YouTube video that I've actually really done. Uh just want to kind of go through everything I'm doing with Madden 21. Uh Madden's back, baby. Another Madden season. Gonna grind really hard this year. Gonna put out some content. Hopefully help everybody out uh, with what I'm seeing compared to what others are doing. Just wanted to run through a couple things first. First, when you log in, either if you're on EA Play. Or if you're going to, you know, get the actual game later when this comes out, you're going to want to get your team captain first. Now, I definitely think that you should be getting either McCaffrey or George. This will help you tremendously on offense. If it's a running challenge, you've got George. He'll start running people over. So you want to get in there, get your team captain, and then, you know, the George or McCaffrey. McCaffrey, if it's on arcade mode, hit Y and he'll basically dominate everybody. Uh, just hold down Y and you'll do it. What I did first though with EA Play was I came in, I repped out these challenges here. You need 45 stars to get an NAT elite player. Uh, what I did, I got I got Chris Godwin with mine, so it's a pretty good pickup. You don't even have to do all these challenges. Okay. Struggling on some of these. Um, I don't recommend this one. This one's kind of hard, but these were pretty easy. Come through here, knock them out, get you a free lead off the get. They're all on arcade mode. See there, arcade. So just come in there, knock those out real quick. Uh, what I did next, I came down to Rivals. So another arcade mode. Um, this is where you get Jalen Smith, Zach Ertz, or Big Ben. Um, I believe you also get good stuff away. I want to say I got like an NAT lead or something. Yeah, right there. You get an 80 to 82 player. I actually got a big bend for that, so that was a pretty good pickup for, um, you know, quarterback position, get off the get. Uh, again, these are all arcade. You can just come in here and rep them out. Um, when you're on defense, I've found a good strategy. Mid blitz, baby. Everybody knows to play. Uh, but this year, I use her, the D lineman, and I've got that the Marcus Lawrence you get, uh, the 82 overall for in what loyalty or whatever. And I just rip off the line and I get to the quarterback in a second. He'll make a bad decision. Go through those um, really quick. Like I said, I've got about three hours left on my trial. So I was able to knock all those out. Still got time left. I also am doing these level challenges. Now, these are very important this year because you have to do them to power up Andre Johnson. So I'll be going through those next. Uh, I'll do those today, hopefully before my trial runs out. And then the next thing I'll probably do are these NFL epics. Now, I'm probably going to go for this Adrian Peterson. Um, these are all arcade as well, I believe. So they should be pretty cakewalks. So I'm going to get AP because he's pretty good back um, for free, at least. And then I'll probably do Ronnie Lott. I don't know if I'll do Jack Youngbug or Larry Fitz yet. But that's what I'm going to do next as far as solos when you dive in. So if you're looking at Madden now and you're not on EA Access, I would do yeah your team captain and new rivals and then go into the nfl epics um and figure out which players you want there just to look at my lineup real quick um see what i'm working with i've bought a couple golds here and there um i do recommend doing those challenges they'll probably round out your team a little bit if you get lucky on some pools but you know a decent gold line is good enough for these arcade games i mean I, i've got this tight end i think he's got like 72 speed maybe 76 speed, so obviously speed's king as in every Madden. So he's working pretty good for the offense. Got decent little offense here. We've got Dalvin Cook. I'm holding on to him. He's a platinum cell card, which I'll get into in a minute on how I got him. But this is a little look at my squad, what we're working with. Definitely need some linebackers. But I had to get a couple gold safeties because they were just getting absolutely posted over the top of the but, So if you look up, you see that I've got about 300,000 coins. Um, I basically got these from grinding, and then I paid about 17 more dollars to get about 2,200 extra. Now, I recommend this because when you level up, you get to go to the store, and they'll give you extra packages if you hit certain levels, and these cost points to get. Now, they're amazing return for your money because every single pack has a platinum card in it. I highly recommend it. Your return on your investment is so good. Um, I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. Like the last one I got, I'm pretty sure, I want to say it was an 84 overall, and it was like 80,000 coins. 
for two dollars so you know you don't have to buy it if you're no money spent i get that I'm, i usually don't spend a lot of money but that was you know a very very clutch investment for me so i also did a couple solo battles real quick with my time uh because i think trophies are super key and i was trying to do solo battles but it, it it's pretty hard so i only did like one or two and i was able to get 10 trophies real quick and 3,000 coins um, you can do it on all pro if you want, but I recommend get, going in there and getting those 10 trophies. Now, what I'll say last is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold on to all my coins. I don't think that you should buy anything right now. I mean, you can buy bits and pieces here and there's, uh, you know, upgrade the team a little bit. But what I want to do is hold on to my coins until the game drops Wednesday. Now, why Wednesday? Because... That's when the game officially drops. And when the game officially drops, everybody's going to get those gold team fantasy packs. And it's just going to inflate the market. There's going to be so many more people that's on the block, uh, so many more players that are out there, so much, so much influx into the market all at one point. So Wednesday is going to be a huge day to get on the auction house. Prices are probably going to drop because there's more supply. You want to try to snag something. I'm going to try to snag something big. I always try to snag one player that's big. And I've got my eye on these cornerbacks here. Now, they're pretty pricey right now. I think they're about 300000 but I think their prices will come down a little bit during this time, and then I think they're going to go back up once Weekend Link comes out and once the packs kind of stop flowing. Um, I think that they'll probably drop about 50000 from where they're at now, and then I think they'll probably go back up week one or week two to about three fifty four hundred. Um Asante Samuel, he's a beast. Y'all have seen these Team Diamonds. I'm sure they are freaking amazing. Um, really, really good cards. Keep your eye out on that. That's personally what I might try to do. Um, obviously, I'm no expert at this stuff. I'm just giving you all my opinions. But that's kind of it in a nutshell. Just want to kind of go through the first kind of steps of Madden. Right now, like I said, hold on to your coins. Don't do anything crazy with them. The market's about to be flooded with cards comes Wednesdays. I'm holding, I'm gonna stay back here. Um, one other key thing I wanna say is look out for 77s and 79 gold players. Those go into theme builder packs and they're gonna be pretty expensive. Right now they're sitting about 7,000 or so. So keep your eye on that and good luck grinding. <clears throat> don't worry about the level as much, your mutt level. I'm already level 26 and I've just been chilling, having fun. I don't go through it too heavy. Like, you know, I'm not sitting there doing a kickoff return. 150 times to rush my way to level 50 you'll get there eventually take your time on it have fun like the video if you liked it and i'll be back with more in the next one peace